Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my shop and the Fenric Covered Stuff. Uh, we're going to embark on a solution to this problem here as my next project. Uh, we're going to build a, a bookcase. I've had a look around and uh, the one I prefer is the Barrister's Bookcase, or it's known as the Barrister's Bookcase. And uh, I've actually gone and bought uh, these plans uh, for, from the Wood Whisperer site, from the Wood Whisperer Guild. Uh, so we're going to uh, have an attempt to make them. Uh, we're going to make them out of cherry. Uh, and I think it's going to be an interesting project. It might be a long one, because uh, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do uh, it's modular modular base, whether I'm going to do three or four. Uh, and you can see on, on the whiteboard here is uh, my rough workings out and sizes. So it's going to be a larger one at the bottom for the larger books and, and going up to smaller ones so I can house the DVDs in the top bit. It's uh, an up and over door which is quite uh, interesting. Uh, glass front or maybe acrylic perspex. Uh, like I say it's cherry uh, and a darker. I'm going to use a ply uh, rather than a, a solid wood for the inserts. It helps with movement I guess. Uh, try to crack on. Uh, hope you enjoy. Off to get the timber. So here we are in the uh, in the garage part. This I bought so the uh, this is the cherry I bought. I bought sort of four four ten foot length of that cherry. Uh, it's sort of rough zone. Hopefully this should be enough. Let's get some boards in the workshop and see what uh, working out we need to do. So we've got the uh, the boards into the workshop. So uh, now I've got to go through really and uh, start picking things up. So well, we've got a good grain match I guess going around. Uh, so I'll need to go through and start marking out. So we've got one of the boards here, it's going to build the bottom one to start off with. I've worked out the sizes. These are the panels completed. Uh, 
just dry fit together, look okay, however, I've made some real errors on these, so, so they're really sloppy. So, the, you know, the, this you should be uh, just a nice fit, but the, I think I'll get away with it. Uh, I think the joints are, will be, they look reasonably tight at the sides. Uh, but you can see some gaps there, so I've gone too deep. Too deep, too wide. Just uh, not the best bits. Uh, and they're both the same, so a uh, bit of a Horlicks really. I'm going to try and uh, recover these, but I'll, I'll, I'll be using polyurethane glue because that sort of fills, takes gaps up, so because uh, it forms up. Before I start gluing up, the thing to do now is just to finish off at this stage the little things that you can't do when they're together. So I'm going to put a small decorative chamfer uh, all around the insides and the outsides to be honest. The outsides can be done at, uh, a bit later on. So we're going to run a uh, decorative small chamfer all the way around the inside. So I want to, because uh, I'm going to have to stop it, I'm going to have to uh, mark where to stop. Well, it's glue time. Uh... <laughs> come out. Uh... Pretty all right to be honest, so uh, that'll do. But uh, I was trying to wonder why they were uh, as ill-fitting as they were. So I got the uh, the ply out I was using, six milli ply. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, it's uh, under five milli thick. So uh, it's funny in it. You buy. My fault, I should have checked it before I'm just assuming that when I bought 6mm ply it'd be 6mm. It's not, it's sort of 4.9. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, carry on and uh, next stage is we go to finish the sides off.